Okay, so sandbag into wheelbarrow. First of all, any front carry, what you're essentially doing is leg curls over and over and over. Okay, so leg curls, definitely something you want to include into your program. Yeah, when your hamstrings burn out, you're done. Okay, hamstrings, when we talk leg curls or like front carry walking, that is not conditioned the same way as like a good morning or a deadlift. Okay, so don't conflate the two. All right, with the sandbag, I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> Str strong man. <laughs> okay, so presumably they're starting upright, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The worst thing you can do when it's for time, when it starts upright, and a lot of pros even do this, the worst thing you could do is, <laughs> okay? Reason being, when it's tall like this, we can get a lot of leverage. So when the sandbags are set for you, first thing that you should do is shuffle all the weight as far to the bottom as you can, okay? Now, all that floppiness, you don't have to deal with, all right? <clears throat> Next, understanding that all the weight's in the bottom, we want to think about how we want to carry this, and if we're gonna carry it any crooked way, we need the heavy side to be on the bottom, all right? So. Say you've loaded it into the sandbag, you're running back to get the next one. How you should grab this, think about one bottom corner and one top corner, okay? So you come around, you get this as your top corner, you wanna roll that into your hand, you have a bottom corner, you lift from there, okay? Then you're going 50 feet, yeah? yeah. So it's not short, okay? If you have that low at all, you're just gonna be hitting thighs the whole time, okay? If you have it on your stomach, you can't breathe. You want that up on your chest as high as you can. All right? Okay, so we're here, over. We got it up onto your chest high, and we're walking lean back. Okay, we find the sandbag or the wheelbarrow, and we load it in. There's two, yeah? No, just one. Just one? Yeah, one sandbag, and then you got it. Oh, sweet. All right, physics of this guy. Everyone notice where I put the sandbag in? Yeah? Don't ever put it here. Okay? Yeah? Right on the axle, your life's going to be so much easier. Okay? Then, when you grab here, same principle as like a car deadlift. The further back you're grabbing, the easier your life's going to be. Okay? Now, if you've loaded that sandbag, this will be light. Yeah, this will be no problem. All you have to do is just pick it up, lean into it, and start going. Okay? If you lean with straight arms, you'll be fine. If you try to curl it, if it ever gets heavy, bad idea. Okay? This, this portion will be light. If I was coaching any of you, this bit would probably not be trained at all. Yeah? You'll just be able to fire through. Just get good at that sandbag. <laughs> it, I can't. It'll have like 700 pounds. This is going to be heavy. Yeah, like the, so for the open men's, um, hold on, let me find it. Yeah, that would be a cakewalk if it was yeah. just that. Yeah, that, that, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah, so for, like for the open men, there's going to be 375 kilos on the pin. On okay. The <laughs> Makes more sense. Makes more sense. Yeah? Now, exact same principles apply. That guy, as far forward as you can. You grab this as far back as you can. Long arms, lean into it, and then start walking, yeah? Once you get the momentum going, it'll be fine. Since you have two wheels, you don't have to worry about left to right rocking. Just worry about pushing that guy forward. Number one tip, any sort of like awkward moving event, don't get ahead of yourself. Once you do, you'll stumble, you'll fall, you'll lose a bunch of time, okay? This is gonna turn into a grip event as much as anything else. Yeah, if it's that heavy, ergo, grip training. Now, to give my two cents on grip training, your muscles have a disproportionate fiber type to how big they are, okay? Large muscles are designed for short, powerful movements like quads, glutes, hamstrings, and your back, okay? The smaller the muscle goes, the more those muscles are designed to resist forces repetitively for a very long time. Our hands are designed to grab things all day, and our feet are designed to stand on all day. So when we train our grip, 
you can't train heavy maximally very often, okay? It's sort of like, like your muscles are the dumbest person you've ever been in an argument with, okay? And you can't take that person who's trying to tell you about the flat earth and go like, you can't bring them all the way over about how the earth is round. You just like, maybe there's a bit of a curvature and you try to walk them along. It's the same thing with forearms, right? You have to train them, lower weight, very, very high frequency, literally every time you're in the gym, and um, higher volumes, okay? So if this is gonna take you maybe 10 seconds, if you do it well, 15 seconds, you wanna train your grip 60 seconds at a time, okay? And you're gonna feel, if you do heavy grip training, for those of us who have done it, what's the number one thing you want, you're complaining of? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your, your soul leaves your body, but the number one thing you're complaining of is your hand rips everywhere. Yeah, your knuckles get sore. You're like, all of the muscles that control your hands are in your forearms. If you aren't feeling your forearms doing the work, you're probably training inefficiently, right? If it's your, if it's your skin, you're going too much. Yeah. I try to incorporate them as much as I can with like upper body hypertrophy yeah. stuff. So it's yeah. like a bit of a grip training on top of whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, I love them personally because that's a way to get the same type of squeeze without killing your skin. Love fat grips. Those um, pinches I find really helpful. Um, and then like the crush grippers. Those three things. Really love anything like that. Um, yeah. Um, I'll also like do dead hangs in fingertips. I like that for grip training. Again, for me, so much of it, I'm just a, I'm a huge baby for anyone who's seen me do hook grip. Uh, so I get so uncomfortable when my skin rips. So fingertip holes for me um, are another one. But yeah, it matters much less what you're doing, understanding that we have pinch grip, which is in your hands, and we have any sort of hold, which is in your forearms. Yeah? Make sense? Cool. Any questions, sandbag into, yeah. So when I've done farmer's carries before, the one thing I got criticized on because this is like a similar stand up yep. as a farmer carry. Yep. Was that I'm doing like a straight up farmer carry and then starting as uh -huh. opposed to starting like this so you can get your first step going. Do you recommend starting with like a forward split motion? stance? Yeah, almost so then you can get your time down, right? Because then you're already moving. Technically, but if you're getting criticized for that, how much speed are you gaining by going from here to there or from there to there? Right. If you, if you inherently lose by like 0.2 of a second, then like, yeah, you should start doing that for sure. In this guy, I, don't, I think you're splitting hairs. Depends a lot on the person, right? Um, but are you going to be more powerful, like driving like this, or literally just leaning into it? Well, probably, for most people. And for me, whenever something's sort of a this or that, it's what's gonna take less energy. And it's gonna be less, less energy to lean. Yeah? Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Also, with farmers, uh, I don't think split stance, I don't think it's required at all. Yeah. yeah. Just my last show, that was like what I got talked about after somebody came over and said, hey, if you try to split stance, it might be a little faster. But I, don't, I, don't. I, I personally don't like it because if you start awkward, like, yeah. it's like a weird. For me, whenever I pick something up, like squats as well, if I picked up a squat like slow, it feels really heavy on your back. I'm the same with farmers. Like if I did anything to make that farmers feel heavier, then mentally I move slower. So for me, picking strong and then going is much faster, but it gets individual there. So I would say if you don't like it, don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All make sense? Yeah? Awesome.